All right, we are here in God's country in southern Indiana. And we are at a very good location for finding fossils. So we have found fossils out in here before. This is private property. So if we take a few rocks, it's not a problem. This is my good friend, Steve. Steve, almost said your last name. Probably wouldn't be good to do that. Uh, this is my good friend, Steve. And he kind of started the ball rolling a few years ago when he, we were turkey hunting and he picked up a, a rock and he handed it to me and it was a massive uh, horn coral like I'd never seen before. And he said, here, here, this is for you. And so we're back here in pretty much that same location and we're gonna see if we can find some other things. Now we've already picked up a few little geodes. This is the way it is here in this location where you've got all this material that is druzy quartz or little crystals or geodes and uh, crystals broken out of geodes. And so we're gonna spend a little bit of time here and see what we can find. I like these little ones. For one thing, they fit in the specimen box very nicely. And these are just sitting right here together. So what'd you get? Oh yeah. Oh, that's a pretty tooth. Yep. Yeah, very nice. I like the coloring on, on this. I wouldn't wear pink, but I sure like to find it in the wild. Now here's the thing that I always struggle with. Yeah. It's like this right here. Yeah. Okay. Is that a stone tool? Kind of looks like it would have been a handle wrapped around it. And it got it got broken yeah. right there. But up here it looks like it's been shaped. Sure does, doesn't it? Yeah, now I would have expected it to, if it was an artifact, I would expect it to be smoother here. But that's going in my bucket. Well, I'll be showing that to an archaeologist and saying, is this an artifact or a leverite? Lever right there. Leverite. This one that you just handed to me, it is so gorgeous. That's going to look great, all cleaned up, sitting on my desk. Oh my. You can see where, like maybe, uh, like right here, yeah. little geodes probably just were in that mud and then they got eroded out by whatever. Yep. And you could spend a tremendous amount of time here. You could, you could spend all day here, literally, couldn't you? Just in one spot, going through stuff. Almost like you'd do a, bring your wire mesh trays and do a uh, archaeological dig sifting. Uh-huh. So now, like, I'm not into rock hearts as far as saving them for that. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, I might take this one home. I mean, it's not super clear as a rock heart but it's heart shaped it, it is it also has a little bit of red on it it does it's so cool. yeah that's something i'll take home from martha today then i got two all right what do we have here oh you got a little you found one i believe that is a crinoid yeah and i think i think i saw another one 
So are there any geodes? They're oh. just sticking up in there. But you can see, well, I don't see any, but those just fell down. A geode. <clears throat> there's, a, there's a geode with a hole in it. Now what's that? How come that's oblong shaped like that? Well, I think you found yourself a wonderful crinoid. Really? That's awesome. That is an awesome one. Here, put that in your pocket. A crinoid? Yeah. Well, now I gotta appreciate it, so you're gonna have to educate me on what it is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm hearing words that I don't know. They're not, crinoids and all these other noids aren't part of my language. It's amazing what sediment can do. Yeah. It just lays it down, layer after layer after layer. And then people come along and they say, wow, look at this. You know, if, uh, if it rained really hard, it would make you wonder Okay, would water come shooting out of there? Yeah, it would be fun to be over here during a real storm, wouldn't it? Yeah, and... Uh, as long as there's not light. <laughs> I'm... Does it look to you like there's some uh, light back in there at all? Let me uh, take my glove off. I'm going to put the flashlight on my cell phone on. Aren't you glad we have phones with... <laughs> with flashlights on them. Flashlights and alarms. Ooh, this is cool. Oh, would you find one? A good one? Look at that. Oh, you did. Dude, that's got a lot going on in it, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. When it looks like bu a bunch of grapes like that, yeah. it's called Batroidal, which has a Greek root it's the Greek word for grapes. One of the great advantages of being on private property is what? It is the fact that you have someone to go with you and show you where all the cool spots are. All the way here, we were passing by one piece of death plate after another, geodes, fossils, just, uh, this place is, this place is littered with that kind of stuff. I guess that's a positive way of looking at the term litter. This is pretty. Limestone, Southern Indiana. like a little basin and the cows even apparently like to stop by here I wondered what this was and it's just, it's a lot of moss and a lot of eroded material There's the limestone. I'm guessing that's a big geode back in there. I'm just gonna leave it be. So you look at all this.
And then you turn around and look at that. Isn't God great? All right, so I thought I found a pretty nice death plate with brachiopods. And then I found this. Oh my gosh. You talk yeah. about a lot of brachiopods. There's a lot in that one, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's really cool. Uh, I'm I'm leaving this one here. That you would notice all those crystals. That's cool. That is cool. I'm not going to keep it, but. We'll be here the next time. Yeah. It's kind of nice. Not nice enough, though. <laughs> The size of that geode. You finding something? Well, uh, just a great big Z, uh, geode. Not that we haven't seen any of those today. It's a nice one though. Feels heavy, so it's probably solid. Look at that great big geode. Oh my gosh, that's a huge one. <laughs> that's a pretty sizable geode. I wouldn't, didn't expect to see that in the middle of this tree. It's kind of hard to see in there. I. I don't know, I'll probably not take it. It's nice. Kind of like to have it, but I don't want to, <laughs> you know, it gets to the point where I don't want to carry that. <laughs> so look at this, you've got all those crinoids and you know they're the thing is they're eroded because they're in the water and and they're eroding out of there but then oh my gosh look down in there yeah now that looks like just a little pebble got down in there and got lodged in but. yeah i think so but so that's a crinoid hagstone huh i might have to add to my weight here i can carry it thank you okay tim don't pick up anything else Broke open. <laughs> uh oh, another one? No, no. Uh -oh. What you laughing about? I'm not taking it no matter what, but. It's cool, huh? Just look at it. Look at those great big and crystals. Did, and how did it get broken? Yeah, so that's. That's a pretty that's, good sizable crystal. That's quartz. It has a lot going on. That it does. And it's gonna stay right here because I'm not carrying it back. <laughs> the land of the giant geodes. And that is a big boy, look at that. Wow, I like it. Iron staining on it. Yep. That would be worth a trip back for that one. Yeah, this is real pretty. Well, that was our day. We spent several hours down there in southern Indiana looking for fossils and just enjoying God's creation. It was great. And to be able to do it with a friend, that was even more awesome, especially 
uh, because he is a friend, but also because he was the one who had permission to go in there. That's always very important. And I love the idea that we could go to one of the highest points in that county and hunt on that hill and also in some areas where the water had eroded away and the waterfall and then the creek and all that was just uh, quite a variety of places to look. Now I do have a few still photos of some of the things that I brought home, things that maybe I think are really cool, you might not think it's so cool, but uh, I in, in fact enjoy all these things. We, we did probably pick up quite a bit of stuff, but when I got back to the truck, I decided, hey, I'm tossing out a few of these things. So I, I didn't bring home everything, but I brought home a lot of it and some treasures as far as I'm concerned. You know, it, it might not be anything that could go on the Science Channel, but it's good enough for Tim Talks About Everything. So thanks for tuning in.